welcome back to my virtual classroom. For those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. For our science discovery episode today, we will be talking about reuse, reduce, and recycle. Now let's help our environment every day by making it clean. Now what is waste? What a waste! People make waste which affects our planet every day. Waste is everything that you throw away or no longer of use. Now sometimes we call waste as rubbish. What else can you think of? That is right, we call them junk. Think of another word that comes into your mind when we talked about waste. That is correct, trash. What else? Garbage. And of course, litter. How much rubbish or waste are you making every day? Hmm, that's a lot of things to think. Now what have we learned about waste? We all know that waste can be thrown anywhere. But instead of throwing it anywhere, let's put it inside the bin. Today, we are going to keep it and think of what we can do to recycle them and reuse them. Okay, so think of a word to recycle and the word reuse. How can we sort the rubbish that we make every single day? It can be at your home. We have a lot of trash. Trash most wanted. Exhibit A, Exhibit B, and Exhibit C. At home, we make all this trash. Where do you think is your trash now? Hmm, can it be in the living room? Or could it be in the kitchen? Probably in your bedroom. Why do you think people drop it anywhere? That is right. It can be they are lazy to put it on the right bin. How can we find out? How can we help? How would you feel if your playground or your house is full of trash? That is correct. You will feel sad. How can we stop people from dropping trash? That's right. We can tell them to use proper beans. That is correct. We can also tell them to reuse them. That is right. We can also tell them to recycle. That is also correct. We can also do reduce the waste that we make every day. Waste makes an impact on our environment. Like we use wood, we use metal, we use plastic, we use glass and even fabric to make most of our everyday life. Different materials has different impact and different properties as well to our environment. Materials can be natural, such as your banana peel, or it could be man-made, such as your plastic. Any waste or trash, we sort them out every day to help our environment reduce, reuse, and recycle them. Now, I have here a few scenario that you would help me out find who did the right thing by reducing the waste every day. Scenario number one. Person A is brushing her teeth. And she closed the tap while brushing and only use it after. While person B, while brushing her teeth, forgot to close the tap 
and the water is flowing all the time. Who do you think did the right thing? Is it person A or person B? You are correct. It is person A. We have to close the tap if we're not using the water. Another scenario. Person B is washing her hands with soap. And while washing it with soap, she's closing the tap and only open it when she needs to wash off the soap and use towel instead of paper towel or tissue to dry her hands. While person A, as she is washing her hands with soap, she did not close the tap. Who do you think did the right thing? That is correct. It is person B who did the right thing. Another scenario. Person A, let's see what scenario will be in the next. Person A is leaving the room and did not turn off the lights. While person B left the room, turned off the lights, and closed the door. Who do you think did the right thing? That is correct. It was person B who did the right thing. Please do turn off your lights when you're not using them. Now another scenario. Person A is drinking water from a plastic bottle. While person B had water using water bottles. Who do you think did the right thing? That is correct. Person B did the right thing. If we wanted to drink water, please make sure that you use water bottles instead of plastic bottles. Because after drinking in a plastic bottle, you just throw them away. However, we can reuse water bottles when we are thirsty. Another scenario. Person A is using a plastic bag to do her grocery. While person B used grocery bag or paper bag to go for grocery. Who do you think did the right thing? That is correct. It's person B who did the right thing. Please do use grocery bag or paper bag to reduce or reuse the material. I hope that you have learned something today about reduce, reuse, and recycle. And as always, as Teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Science Discovery Series. Bye!